Hey everyone, it's Tobin with HHO for All. Um, had somebody who was asking me questions about how the cell is built, um, so I'm just going to do a quick video here uh, just to give you guys a rundown of how I've assembled my cell and how I came up with this design. Um, so it's basically a seven cup, uh, seven stainless steel cup, two and a half ounce cup. Uh, you can buy four of them for a dollar over at Walmart. Um, I've seen a lot of other videos where people were using stainless steel cups, um, but they had them upright, and all the bubbles were, you know, coming off of the sides, and and it looked like a a lot of the bubbles were getting dissolved back into the water before they could even make it to the surface. So I thought, well, why not just turn it upside down, and. Uh, by turning it upside down, um, create stages and chamber the gas because it's being created in between each one of the cups and uh, force it from one stage to another to another to another until it gets to the top and drill out holes on, on the top of each one of these cups so that you could uh, basically use them as uh, exhaust ports. And so that's kind of what I did here. Um, the way the plates are laid out, um, uh, going from bottom to top, the bottom is positive, then neutral, then negative, then neutral, negative, neutral, and then positive. It's a seven cup design. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, these are the exhaust ports on the top of the cell. I've got it held together with nylon bolts and nuts um, just because it's it's easier to keep it from shorting out and then I used uh, cable ties I don't know if if you can make this out too well here but um, I used uh, cable ties and I just cut them to size and slipped them in between uh, four pieces on each cup so that way I had the proper spacing it's about a eighth of an inch spacing on each cup and um, that's it's pretty much ideal for getting the best output on these units because I've I've tried it with quarter inch and uh, got to tell you the the quarter inch spacing it gives you bubbles but it doesn't give the chambering effect going from stage to stage that I wanted so uh, that's how I came up with using cable ties so anyway uh, basically in a nutshell this is my cell and I've been running it on 12 volts DC off of this right here, a uh, PC power supply. And uh, it's, uh, it's running pretty stable. It's, it's actually going, on average, it's usually going about 12 to 14 amps. I need to get me an amp meter because right now um, the one that I had, uh, for some reason it, it just went schizo on me so it's not working anymore but I need to get a new one but basically that's it and that's my design so there you have it uh, Tobin with HHO for all signing off and you guys have a good one talk to you later